Okay, so what exactly is a homogeneous equation in physics? Well, let's try to think of it this way. Let's say I have a bunch of physical quantities, right? A plus B equals to C, D over E, for example. Okay, now the thing about homogeneous equations is really very simple. If I'm adding something, or for that matter, if I'm subtracting something, then it follows that these two, A and B, must have the same units. Same units, all right? Both of these guys must have the same units. And not only that, the stuff that they equal to must also have the same units. And it's quite commonsensical, right? For example, if this was in kilograms, you would expect to add or subtract other stuff which are also measured in kilograms. For example, one kilogram plus one meter really doesn't make any sense, right? Nor can I say one kilogram plus two kilograms gives you three meters. That's also a little bit nonsensical. So when you have basically um, quantities which are added, subtracted, or on the other side, on or on either side of an equal sign, they must all have the same units for the equation to be considered as homogeneous. Now, what about multiplying and dividing stuff? Is it necessary for C, D, and E to have the same units? Well, absolutely not. Remember that if you multiply or divide stuff or quantities with different units, all you are getting is a derived unit, which is totally fine, right? In fact, we have learned that derived units are some combination of products and quotients of base units. So that is homogeneous. Let's look at an example of this. So um, a nice simple one to look at would probably be, well, how about this? Power equals to force times distance. How do we check if this is homogeneous? Well, we could easily just turn this into the into its SI base units, okay? So we've seen before that power can be broken down, okay? The watt can be broken down into joules um, per second, which is essentially joules is Newton times the meter second. And of course, Newton is kilogram meter over second squared. And so we put in the extra meter and the extra kilogram. A second over here and now we compare this with the base units on this side so force and distance well force is of course kg m uh, over s squared and d is m so that is m another m here check these two clearly they're not the same because you have an s cube here and an s squared here and so this equation is not homogeneous and this is how you use Okay, SI base units to check if a given equation is homogeneous or not.